Hey everybody, it's Martha. Welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. As always, I'm grateful you are here. When I have the camera situated, it looks like it's plenty far enough away to get this in shot, but when I put my hands there, they look really big and in the way. So I'm gonna raise you up just teensy bit. Okay, we're gonna try that. As always, I'm always messing with the camera. There's a few people that seem to have it down pat, but I don't know, I just can't get there. I hope you pull up a cup of tea. Because today we are working on prompt number 15 for April 11th. Make three of your own glassine bags. Using tracing paper, wax paper, cereal box liner, or use baby oil to get the effect you want. Carol Frugoli at Free Spirit Arts uh did a video a while back and I will find that and link it in the description box below and you can also look up other videos on how to make your own glassine paper um I choose not to use baby oil so I'm gonna do faux <laughs> faux stuff uh, mine is not gonna be waxy because I don't know I've never had good luck with glues sticking so mine's gonna be a faux fake um, one, use them as pockets and tuck spots in your journal. So that's the prompt. It shall go up here with my little lammy on my light. Now, I have pulled a variety of things. You know, we don't set things in stone. We don't beat you up if you don't follow the directions to a T and you want to be creative, go for it. If you don't have tracing paper or wax paper, um, honestly, I don't even know if I have wax paper in this house anymore. Um, I have a coffee filter that was marbled. It was just used as a soak up, but it's crinkly and it's, you know, it's semi-transparent like glassine is. I have parchment paper. This is a really, I like this parchment paper. Our current parchment paper, I dislike a lot. So this is one of the pieces that I've used to um, put in a book and have my plants in between to flatten them and press them. So I have that and love that too. And that's semi-transparent. I have this piece, which is tracing paper. I'm pretty sure because it's two, it's the exact size. And I love, you know, the crinkle and this, I think, I think I used Distress Ink on it. Who knows? Um, but there it is. And I could use either side as the outside. And then I have plain old tracing paper. Now, tracing paper comes in different weights. Um, I didn't pull it here. I have the heavier one here. So if you're in the States, Hobby Lobby has this brand and it goes on sale every so often and you're getting a glare. Okay premium tracing pad it's master's touch so this one is 45 pound okay it's really dark here so i had to have my lights really close and then this one is 25 pound okay and this one also comes in a light one but i don't see it um i don't know why i have two of these but anyway <laughs> i do uh usually i have this brand in the lighter weight but this is the heavier weight and it's definitely a thicker, um, a thicker paper. I don't, know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, almost fell out of my chair. So I'm gonna, I could use one of these, but I have a lot to play with. Um, maybe I'll just, this one's very thin. It's thinner than this one. I think this might be, might be, I don't know. Might be the same weight. Who knows? I don't know. I don't so here we go it's been a while since I've been in my craft room uh, when I'm filming this it is March but it's going to air in April and uh, at my current filming time we are preparing to go out uh, camping we are I don't know why I always try and do that left-handed. <laughs> Some things I'm really good at left-handed. Other things, not so much. All right. Can we get this 
straight. Probably not. Okay. All right. Good enough. So, you know, I had done this a while ago. That's why I can't even remember what I've used it for. Now, there's various ways to make your own bags. You can fold it over this way and fold this here. You can fold them in half and have the seam in the back. So there are lots of ways to do it, and lots of people do it different ways. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to try something. Now, I've, I've got at least one other video on making your own bags. So if you want this, to be curved like some bags. Do it before you glue, <laughs> which I always forget to do, but do it before you glue. I wish somebody made a circular, um, ragged edge like this, like, like that, ragged edge um, tear tool, a round one, so that you could um, tear around it. But you can, you can, not you can, you can use something like this. And this just reaches these two corners. So I might do that. Now, I have to say, that's going to make the front really, and, and you want to make sure you get the, you're tearing the right part. <laughs> so I'm going to try, actually. Maybe I should cut it. Maybe I should draw a line. Maybe I should draw a line and actually cut it. That might work better. I, I don't think I'm going to try and tear. But I am going to trace. I'm go I am going to. I don't think I have any oval dies. That's too low. You could also use a cup or a mug. I mean a bowl. Uh, bear with me. I do not have an oval die set. So, you know what I'm going to be looking for, right? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot and just see how it turns out. So I'm going to credit. Actually, I'm going to leave. I am going to make it shorter. And I am going to leave a straight edge on those edges there, on, on the sides here, instead of cutting it right to the corner, I'm going to try this. I don't trust myself. Isn't that funny? Common theme in my life, don't trust myself. So yeah, it's been a real, oh, oh, shoot, a, uh, a long time at least a week since I have been in my craft room. Now, that being said, I was going to try and use my uh, wiggly scissors on it. Um, you know, the jagged edge scissors. But I know darn well they are not going to cut this paper. And yes, I could put a thick paper behind it, but that's kind of a pain too. But we can get, we can cut and give it a go. Let's see, I had some, I had, where is it? I have some cardstock, which I don't love using it for this kind of thing, but we're gonna see. We are going to give this a go and see if it works. How's that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've not done this before. So I tried. Um don't like that. Pinking. I'll try the pinking. Wish me luck. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to <laughs> hold that thought. Because 
and I think. I need to put this down. I need help. I need another hand or something. Wash you to the rescue, right? All right, let's give this a go and see. Holy moly. I'm cutting a half circle isn't hard enough. I'm trying to cut it on very thin paper with cardstock behind it. And make it look good. <laughs> oh, it worked. Well, that side didn't come exactly right, but let's give this a go and see if I don't ruin it. There. Woohoo! So there you go. If you want to cut out your semicircle first, and I'm just going to gently erase the pencil line. I don't plan on inking it with a dark ink. These colors are too pretty. Now that's a little bit deep. I would go for an oval more than I would go for that half circle. But that's okay. It's pretty. And then you could also do... <laughs> now that I'm getting crazy with it. You can also do straight across the top. Now I do know with these scissors you don't want to do too thin of a line. And then also want to do this little edge right here. I hope you can see that. That's my point of backing my camera out too is not only so you don't have to suffer looking at these hands, but if I get too close to myself, you can sort of still see, usually. It's lifting up, so I don't know. There we go. Yay! Alrighty. And I think... I think that's good enough right there. Well, that looks cute. Well, that came out alright, huh? Alright, now... The other thing I do is... I fold this over to meet that line, right? And you could certainly make this any width you want and just cut this part off. So if you don't want that as wide, you just just do, 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 do. just trim that a little bit. But you, you thought I was going to pull out that cardboard and try and make it jaggedy, didn't you? Nope. And that is not even close to straight by any means, but you know, it's Martha. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is take the bottom and fold it up as far as I want it. And you got to give yourself a little space for that. I mean, it's got to be semi, you know, can't be too thin. And what you're going to do is this is the back of the bag. You're going to cut this back off. So I can put those back up. Um, take up my smaller scissors. And I'm going to cut this up, cut this across the bottom, right across like this. Okay. Ready? And then what we want to do is we want to kind of right, 
And then this has to cut. And then we'll cut a bit of an angle on the edges. So you have this right here. And then anywhere there's a corner like this, I trim up. So you have, and I always put this on the outside. And that way, whatever you put in the bag doesn't catch. You know what I mean? There you go. Glue. That's the only thing we need now. Now I have not opened this glue in forever. <laughs> so we shall see. And the other thing I do is I like to put glue right along this edge here. Not too close. Just in, you know, an eighth of an inch or so from the edge. And then I'm also going to put glue here, but not too close to the fold. So I put it on the edge, right? Oh, I should have, should have trimmed that corner down. Get off me. <laughs> Still stuck. That darn arc glitter glue. Okay, I'm gonna fold this in. So I have glue just on the edge there and on the edge of the flap. Okay, and then here, I cut this angle a little, a little wide there, but that's okay. Nobody's gonna see it if you glue it down to the page, right? There, and there's my first bag. Let's see, hard to stick in it. There you go. And of course that could be decorated with anything you want. Any way you want. I like it like that, but I could put, what could I put on here? So I have been tearing my room apart to um, prepare things to take with me on the trip. Oh, that's pretty, look, on the trip, and, uh, yeah, so. Oh, look, a little flower garden. And so, um, I've been literally, <laughs> literally tearing things up, and I am not taking, I'm just going to do that. Do I want both of those, or do I just want that one? I love this one by itself. Need something behind it though, right? Um, I'm taking slow stitching with me. So I am going to work on a couple of wall hangings that are gonna be oop, a couple of inches thick and quite long, a couple feet long, maybe two, two and a half feet long. So I am quite happy about that. And, uh, let's see what I want to pull out of here. I don't know. What do you want to pull out of here? I have a little basket beside me with a bunch of, no, a, bun a bunch of different stuff in it. <laughs> like, bunches. Nope, like that either. It's raining out and the guys are out playing golf, I think. Let me pull my shade up a little bit. I'm trying not to do anything. Yep. Out playing golf. I'm trying not to do anything. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. I have to keep my shades closed while we're gone. Because when the sun shines, um, it shines right in here. Hence, that's why it's called the sunroom. <laughs> it's all windows. All windows and sliding doors. And, uh, oh, I like that. Because you can still see the color through the gauze. That's very pretty. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, I have to remember to have all the curtains closed and everything while we're gone because I won't be here to close it.
and Tony ran out to go to the store and um, do a couple things, last minute things, as we're leaving tomorrow. But again, this is not as I'm filming this. This is, I am filming about three weeks in advance, I believe. So, uh-oh. <laughs> did y'all see what I did? I don't know where that southern accent comes from. I am not southern by any means, except I've lived here a long time. I tend to pick those things up. Eh! Too much sticky glue. All right. And, oh, look what my art glitter glue did. Very interesting. Recycled old napkin. Now I know I don't want the whole stem on there. So I'm gonna tough to tear. Alright. This is that's the one thing about die cuts. They're really hard to glue. Oopsies. When they're uh very fine <laughs> fine like this. My my bottle tip keeps getting caught. I shouldn't be decorating these. I should be doing all the bags and then decorating. But you know, I just get carried away. Don't you get carried away when you see something and you're like, oh, gotta decorate it. And I know everybody's gonna have fun with this one because, you know, you're making your own paper bags. Well, glassine bags. Or in my case, faux glassine bags. Trying to see if I can get that glue not to volcano. Very unusual for our glitter glue. All right. <laughs> okay, we need the magic spatula. My silicone spatula. From a kid's meal from two years ago at Chick-fil-A. My favorite, my favorite smoothing tool. Mini, perfect in my hand. So we are heading east toward the beach, and I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's been about three years since I've been at a beach, and I just I, I just love the water. Love the water. Love fresh seafood. Love to hear the ocean waves. A lake is okay, too. <laughs> but I'm very excited. I kind of... I don't know if I like that down there or not. You know what? Why not? I'm just going to throw that on there. something different and then I have I want something sparkly on there hmm okay don't want red I'll take the I really should use a tool for this although I stink at this so I'm going to put a couple right in the center here. Why is my glue volcano wing? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to open it. I have all of a sudden like zero hand strength. <sighs> nope. That's not going to work either. And it just keeps volcanoing. So what do I do with the cover? <clears throat> can't beat it there we'll see if that works probably not but that's okay all right now what was I doing trying to get these off all right wish me luck because I really stink at this part I need to get somebody said there's a tool that you can lift these off with if you know what it is can you send me a link below <laughs> in the comments please Help a girl out. Although that one didn't go too badly, but that doesn't mean the rest are going to go okay. 
you guys stay on there. I don't want you. I just want this one. And now it is glued to my tweezers. <laughs> there is way too much glue on there. there. Because of my volcanoing. Any up here? That one. So it's raining out, and we are supposed to go tomorrow, so I really can't. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get it shiny side up, but I seem to be struggling with that part. Okay. See what I mean? I need one of those tools that you just pick it up, and it puts it down where you want it. And you don't have to be fighting it quite as much as I am. <sighs> Martha. The whole row came off. I don't need the whole row. <laughs> Get back on there. <laughs> A bunch, bunch of the globby glue came with it. Wow, I'm having a time. That's what happens when you don't get in the craft room for a week at a time. Holy moly, it's like that and starting a video is like starting all over. Or doing a video is like starting all over. So I was going to say, using the die to trace around where you want to cut, um, that comes from Susan Langford at Suzy Q Makes. I watched her do that for one of Rachel's um, <laughs> challenges. <laughs> Speaking of challenging. All right. Can I get that one in there? Can I? Can I? Can I? Probably not. I don't think I left enough room. Sorry, I got to bring it up to my nose because I'm not seeing what I want to see. Well, that's not the best job, but it's done. <laughs> there you go. It's got some sparkles. So, yeah, I like that. Okay, next. <laughs> Jeez. Less challenging, please. All right. I want to do something with this. Put those back before I lose them. This is the coffee filter. So. That's not what I want. Not what I wanted. Okay. It's time to get a straight line. So. I want I'm done with that. I will put that away when I'm done. <clears throat> I think I want it. Well, darn Martha. I want it to be sort of like even, so I'm going to fold one side in and then fold the other side in based on the first side. So that I hope I get... semi-close, semi-close to the same on each side measurement, because that's what I want, that's why, because it's okay. So I like, I'm going to fold this in, so that's not rounded that direction. Fold this up a little. There we go. I'm going to fold this down, and that's going to be my bag. Actually, it looks more like an envelope. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. What I'm going to do is cut up here. No. Oh, well, too late now. 
<laughs> Too late now. Maybe I cut the right side. If I'm lucky, I cut the right side. What do you think? Taking bets? Wow. What a struggle. Okay. No, I cut the wrong side. All right. <laughs> See? There's always a way to fix it. <laughs> Might not be the side I wanted to show, but I like it. It's got blue and yellow swirls in it. Okay. Don't do as I say. Kind of do your own thing because, you know, if you follow Martha, it's a good chance it's going to be a little wackadoodle. That's close enough to a bag for me. I know, I know. It looks like an envelope. I didn't do a very good job, did I? Bad example. I'm a very bad example. For this prompt. Oh my goodness. I struggled with trying to get it together in my head, to be honest. I've done bags before. I really have. I don't know what my problem is. It's just, it's this frame of mind I've been in lately. So, yeah. Learn by my mistakes. As somebody said recently in a comment on one of my videos. Yeah. All right. That's number two. So, yikes. Wow. Things are just tumbling all over the place here. Okay. All right. Oh, excuse me while I get back. All right. So. Um, that's not going to work. Of course it's not going to work. Right. I'm going to fold this or cut this paper in the opposite direction of my first one to see what I get. Probably a similar thing, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, it's not going to work. Let's go for a straight line today. <laughs> On this one, anyway. Okay. I know most people just pull out their scissors, but, you know, we're talking about Martha. All right, so... This is the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut across the front so it's a little bit shorter. I can't use those big scissors for a small area like this. It makes me shake. So that's the front. Back. Right? Edges. And then I'm going to cut this at an angle. And I'm going to cut this off. Nope. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to cut that off. So, we now have thus. And I need to cut. My husband gave me the cards so he could mail them when he goes out for our granddaughters for Easter. Because when we come back, it's going to be very close to Easter and... I don't think we're going up there for Easter because we won't have our second vaccines yet. And, <laughs> and we, um, 
the mail, you know, I don't know if you know, but the U.S. Post Office has not been very efficient with the mail. So we don't want to take any chances and the cards not get there on time, even though they only live an hour away. Plus, our mail has to go from where we live to Richmond, Virginia, and then go back north. Because our post office is uh, their main office. It has to go to the main office first, which is Richmond, Virginia. And then it has to go north to get to the kids. Yeah. There. So that one we can play with. It's spring, so I've been all about spring colors lately. So I hope this finds everyone else doing well. We did get our first vaccines. Um, not this past Friday. This is, uh, I am filming this, what day is this? It was this past Friday. We got them almost a week ago now. And we had very sore arms. We had the Pfizer. This ink pad seems to be <laughs> not very inky. So, I don't know. Maybe it's the paper. We got the Pfizer. We had very sore arms. Felt a little tired and kind of sluggish the rest of that day and pretty much the next day. My husband had a headache. Um, I didn't get the headache. Thank goodness. I can't stand headaches. Um, not that anybody can. I'm just not very tolerant of headaches. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't have the dauber for that. I don't think I have. Oh, Martha. Now, I know I have. This is close enough. This should work. I know I have, like, daubers. But I can't seem to find them. I don't know why. Um, I actually got some free from scrapbook.com a while back, like a year and a half ago. And um, I don't know. They're the domed ones, and I have no clue where they went. So that's pretty color. Springy, springy, springy. All right. I like it. Now, on to putting them in the book. Put them in the book. Oops. Let's put that dauber, because I do believe that's the right one anyway. Just got thrown in the wrong drawer. Okay. All right. Book. So just like everybody else, my book's getting quite full. I'm going to put these in the back somewhere, though. One right here, because this page is quite colorful. I'm going to put that one right there. I like it. That works. Could go this way, too. And then I could stick something in it, and it would stick out of the book. Maybe I'll do that. Yes, please. And I'm not using it as a... Like, it's not going to be a double one. I'm going to make this as a single paper bag glassine bag pocket. I have to say, I really like doing them out of the tracing paper the best. I think... Yeah. Okay, and then a tag. I don't think I have, but a tag will go in and stick out right there like that. Which I like. I don't have um, a tag that'll fit right off the top of my head, I don't think. Nope, that won't work. <laughs> but 
been too long. Too long. Come on, Martha. You gotta have some sort of tag that'll fit in there. Maybe this. That's probably long. Yeah. And then that'll stick out. I'd, sh I'd cut off the bottom. But anyway, good example of how I'd like to use them. All right, let's put... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I like that one right there. I like the juxtaposition of colors. You like that big word I used? <laughs> Don't ask me to use it again, please. <laughs> Not in a sentence. Oh, look what my glue is doing. Why is my glue doing this, people? Because it's mad at me because I haven't seen it in a long time. So I do find on the tracing paper the art glitter glue works. We don't have, we don't eat cereal. So I don't have cereal liners to use to test with. And I'll be honest, I don't like struggling with, um, where's my, with uh, like trying to get things to glue down. Like I, I don't want to use wax paper and then struggle to have it glue down. My book, my, uh, my weight, my book weight. That's what I call it. I did leave this open in the back. Plus, you can put something in the front. So, so here you can put something in the back and something in the pocket right there. Yep. That will work nicely. Nicely. And then, I'll put this one right here. Kind of goes with the colors of this right here. Yes, please. It's kind of different, but I know. Looks more like an envelope. Yeah, I cheated. It's all good. <laughs> and you could use these as flips. You can use them the same way you use any other any other paper bag, glassine bag that you like to use. So there you go. So I hope that you have fun doing this prompt. Kind of go wild, kind of do it your own way. Um, use whatever you like to use for it. And I know I have a cover here somewhere. Please stop cascading out of there. I gotta get this open. And um, have a just have fun with it, you know? Just don't... I didn't break my cover. I need my lid. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, you can stop cascading now. And I hope that um, you have fun with it. So again, it is make three of your own glassine bags using tracing paper, wax paper, cereal box liner, or use baby oil to get the effect you want. See Carol's video, etc. Use them as pockets or tuck spots in your journals. So, like I said, just have fun with it and go do your own thing. That's what this is about. Be inspired. Inspire someone else. Happy crafting. Thank you, thank you. I love you all. We're gaining on 2,000 here. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> maybe by my birthday, maybe not. Maybe by the end of the year. I'm not in a rush. It's okay. I'm just glad you're here and hanging out with me. Hope you had fun. Hope I gave you some ideas. Hope you can improve on whatever I gave you. Take care, everybody. Be healthy. Stay well. Get your vaccine, please, so the rest of us can all go out and be safe and be happy and join each other. And we can move on from this terrible past year that we've had. Love you all. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye, everybody.